Hey guys, today I'm going to tie you um, do your hair merger. As far as the mergers go, I'd say this is probably the best ever. In my, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, absolutely deadly. Um, the hook I'm using is a Fastener F120. And it's a clink hammer style hook and it's a size 14. The thread is just a black silk I'm using. I'll just wax it up a touch. And we'll start behind the eye and work our way back. Trim off the excess. I'll come forward about two mil from the eye. Just come back two mil back. This is where we're going to tie our wing. So I'm using Comporidon hair, natural colour. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to take a pinch of this off. Uh, a bit littler than a, the thickness of a pencil, I'd say. Just a touch smaller. So we'll trim off that amount like so there. Just get me brush and just brush some of the fur, under fur out. Like that. Now I'll just place it inside my hair stocker like that and just tap it on your bench where it's magic comes out all aligned take them out so the length of the wing I always go get the tips at the eye hook and my tying in place is going to be at the back of the hook. So that's the length of the wing that I like. So I'll offer that up and I just want a couple of loose turns. I wax the thread there so I'll get a better grip. So there's nothing sliding around. So I'll tie that in. I'll come in. I'll do a few turns just down back of the wing just to uh, taper the body a little bit trim off the excess and I'll just tidy this up a touch doesn't really matter too much because it's getting some spiky dubbing over the top um, I'll just push that one up trim off a few of the extra long fibers um, now at this point that one off at this point uh, for the rib I'm using a uni Mela and this is in pearl it's a uh, size 16 nice and shiny I use this uh, just for the so it looks like it's a shook underneath the water so the bugs bursting out uh, come in and tie that in work my way down Just before the bend, a couple of mil before it bends round to the hoop at the bottom. Um, now the dubbing, I'm using a natural fur and this is a squirrel grey. Nice and spiky. Um, I'll just put a touch of wax on my thread just to make it stick. It's a bit awkward to work with. So, get a nice pinch of it and offer it on my thread like so. I want it nice and tapered on when I'm working the wheel. And I'll stop just before the um, the wing. Thinly at the bottom and thicken it up as I get further to the top. That should do it there. 
So as you can see, it's nice and spiky. That's how I like it. So I'll take my rib now. You only want a few turns of this all around. Before I should do it, I'll come in front and I'll just tie that off. Trim off the excess. Now, with a bit more squirrel dubbing, just place it on your thread and go up to the wing. Now we're going to go under the ring and round. A touch more. Just sometimes lick your fingers, it goes on a little bit better. So, a couple more turns behind and I'll pull my wing up and start wrapping underneath and in front like so get to the eye and come in and do a five turn with finish and trim off your thread like so it's looking good the spike you the the body the better on these the way i see it um see so that it, this bottom bit here will just sit underneath the water in the deer hair will just keep it afloat and like i say there's in my view there's no better um emerger pattern out there <laughs> they've slayed fish for me for a good number of years now um so give that one a go uh, thanks for watching see you next time